Pushing us in. And then they'll open up these gates for us. So I don't know if you'll see the gates. So freaking cool. I just want to see them open the gate and let all the water out. It's going to be awesome. When they drop the water. See the tracks on either side. There's little like train car things that get next to it and pull it so that it doesn't bump into the sides and it helps it get up in there correctly and they guide it. Gate's not moving yet because that that gate's got to close first. Than that gate's closing. Is it raining out there today at all? Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Gates are closing. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, you're and then it'll fill with water to lift it so it can go through the next part. No, up by that other ship. Good morning. You literally woke me up like three minutes ago. I know. You expect me to yeah. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's so 
Ship's going up. Very slowly that ship is rising. water to lift us the 22 feet that is required so that we can go into the next channel over there. You can kind of see, you got to be able to go up right in there. We'll rise up so that we're level with that. And then we'll be able to go into the lake out there and turn around and come back. 
kind of awesome. It's a pretty impressive thing that they have. And then of course that's the rainforest. And there's a bridge right out there that we went under at some god awful hour this morning while we were sleeping. <laughs> But since. So, in other words, like 7 30? Probably. So, that is where we started. Right there. That's the little waterway that we started. And that was, let's see, when was it? That's 11 o'clock. And we were there at, I want to say, 8 o'clock this morning. And so far, we've made it through the first channel which is there, or the first lock. And now we're in the second lock. And we have one more lock. Ooh, look it, we're going in. See, it's a tight squeeze. Those little choo-choo train looking things guide us through to make sure we don't hit sides. We supposedly can kind of see, like there's the ground down there. You can see we're right next to it. And we're not even the biggest ships to go through here. They said some of the biggest ships to go through here were war vessels. And they had a grand total of 11 inches total to spare. Um, squeezing through these things. So, I mean, I can't even imagine. That's why we go so slow. And why we're guided. Kind of freaking awesome though, isn't it? Oh, look at there's like a lighthouse. But once we get in here, the gates will shut behind us, and then this lock will fill up with water and we'll rise 22 feet, and then we'll be able to get out into the lake. And then when we come back, we'll do the reverse, we'll come in here and then it will lower us 22 feet and let us into the lock below. And then we'll have to do that three times, just like we had to do three times to get up here. Okay, you can kind of see how much closer we are because those are our lifeboat thingies. And on this one, right now, because we're in the third channel, um, the rail is right up. There's the little guide dude is right there. The rail is right there with our lifeboats and the other one was significantly lower than that. So you can really see the difference in how close everything is. see right here that's our space between the boat and the wall and if there's that much space on either side it's crazy it's so wild and they were saying that the most of the mechanics of the uh, channel the locks, the bolts, all of it are basically the exact same that they were when it was built um, all those years ago. They still run on the same systems, they know them well, they work well, and so they're not messing with, <laughs> not messing with, if it ain't broke, don't fix it basically. So they're just leaving it as is. There's some workers down there. Yeah? I don't know. It's gonna be this stage so that they can shoot water guns at the passengers on the cruise ships or something. <laughs> I got a good picture of the lighthouse, it's cool. It's funny that razor wire up there. I know. I wish we could stop but and get off, but it's not, they don't suggest it right now because of civil unrest. Well, and really, if you want to get off, just turn off the camera and we'll get off together. Shh. All right. 
And there's Cece's head. So on the TV, this is a video on our TV from the front of the ship. And you can see we have to get to there. And then they'll close the lock behind us and fill the water up. And we'll go up. Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> that will go up 22 feet so that we can match the height of the water in the canal. And then we're going to be able to go out into the lake. It's going to take us a couple of hours to go around in the lake. And then we're going to come back through and it's going to be the reverse. We'll pull in, they'll lower us, we'll go forward, they'll lower us, we'll go forward, they'll lower us. The whole thing, we started about 9 o'clock this morning, and, well, we got to the channel at 8, but we had to wait our turn. There were two ships in front of us, and so we waited our turn patiently-ish, <laughs> and... We uh, will be done and back out where we started at about 5 o'clock tonight. So they said to do the entire channel, which is this part going through the lake and exiting out the other side, takes 8 to 10 hours because of how slow you have to go. It's pretty freaking incredible. And the guy was talking earlier about how many times it's been shut down. Um, I think he's, there was like seven times in the history of it that it's been shut down once, uh, the very first time was because some rocks collapsed or something and it was shut down for seven months. Um, every other time it's been for either storms, um, but mostly like military conflict type stuff. They shut it down one time to force someone out of power down here. And while we would really love to be able to port and get off in Panama City, right now it's not something that they suggest or allow because of the unrest that's happening in the country right now. Um, but you can see, I mean, from the previous videos and photos, it's just absolutely incredible. Beautiful, beautiful rainforests. Um, it's a little bit humid. It's about 90 degrees out there. Um, we were sweating like dogs standing out in the sun, so I'm super, super grateful we were able to upgrade to a, a balcony so that we could just come back and forth inside to look out because right now we're looking out one side and then when we turn around and come back, we'll be able to see the other side. So, because we're looking out right now from our balcony, we are looking out, where's my finger? We're looking out here on this side. And on the way back through, we'll be facing the center. So we'll be able to see the middle of it much better. So anyway, more later. And we made it out to the lake. Oh, shoot. Let's go. Excuse me. Here's the little choo choo train things that guided us. Now we're out in the water. The water is actually quite clear, you can see on the shore. Took us about two hours. That looks like a dam that goes out to that little lake that's back there. You can kind of see it. There it 
it is right there and then there's more of it over there but that's a pretty cool little dam and like I said it took us just about two hours to get through one half, one half of the Panama Canal and way out there on the corner you can see the bridge we came under that I showed you earlier and we hit that I think at about 8 o'clock this morning and it is now 11.36 <laughs> so when they say 8 to 10 hours I totally get it now because you don't think it's very big but Dude, now we still have to get through the halfway point to the lake Yep, we got to get to the center of the lake and then we'll turn around and I believe about 2, 2.30 is when we start going back through the channel to get back out to the ocean so that we can hit Grand Cayman on Friday, assuming the weather holds up. So, Which doesn't look like it realistically. Yeah. I was listening to a lot of the... Yep, so we might lose our Grand Cayman port as well. Just like we lost our Costa Rica port, but that's okay. We, we've been to Grand Cayman at least. Costa Rica was a little bit of a disappointment that we didn't make it there. Because we haven't been there yet. But the whole purpose of this cruise really was this. <laughs> Way out there. Let's zoom. Way out there. You can see some of the islands and stuff way out there. Not sure what that is, but it looks like like pieces of metal or something. And over on the edge over here, right on that corner, it looks like there are pieces of maybe an old dock or something. And it, oh, look right there. I want to know where they got that. Right there. Where's my finger? There it is. Right there. There's like a tunnel, it looks like. Where that barge uh, or cargo vessel two years ago got stuck. Because it was way oversized. I'm wondering if it was on that first section that we did or if it was on the other side. Yeah. It's pretty wild. One of the little islands. Bless you. All right, came back to the room for a couple of minutes. So that we could change so we could go eat and it looks like we've made a circle in the lake there's princess cruises and there's the thingy the yep the canal thing we're making our way back over there you can see So we're supposed to start making our way back through the canal around two. Um, and so like these guys will probably go first because they're sitting here <laughs> waiting. And then I'm guessing the cargo ship over there is going to have to go after us probably because they're not on the cruise timeline. But So yeah, we're going to go eat and then we'll probably come back to the room and hang out and watch us go through the canal from our stateroom, our veranda. I'm coming out the other side. 
We're in the second, we're going into the last. So they filled up the last one. Or low, actually, no, they lowered us. Yeah, you can see there how level the ground is again with So we're level with the lower lake now and the bridge that we went under. And there is, what is that, the princess something? Yep, it's one of the princess ones. Princess Cruise Line. Yeah. So she's going through the other channel over there. other side of the canal. We're in the last channel lock thing, and you can see that's 22 feet. So we are level with the lake out there right now, but right there, that's the lock we just came out of. And when we went in, they it was full. And then they released the water so that we would lower down to this level. And now they're letting us out. You have to do that three times each way to get back and forth. It's kind of cool. And that's the canoe. Tomorrow we got a sea day.